Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. And first things first, I hope you've had an amazing Christmas season. And as we wave goodbye to Christmas magic, we welcome 2024. So I wish everybody who's seeing this right now a very, very happy new year. And I wish everybody a very healthy and amazing 2024 to come. Wow. What a season it's been. It really, really has. And I hope that with your loved ones, your family, your friends, you've enjoyed an incredible time. I always say on my channel, and as I will to anybody, that Christmas is my ultimately favourite time of the year. The new year, of course, for a lot of us can fill us with apprehension, worry, fear. And in my early 20s, I always used to think that coming into, my, uh, into a new year, I used to be thinking, I need to get this done by a certain time and I need to get that done. And then, of course, time the next new year would come around, which, let's be honest, a year is a long time, but sometimes it does seem to fly. Other times, not so much. Um, I mean, if you're going through something, it can always seem like it's a long, drawn out time. But remember, whatever we're going through, there is only one of you. You're incredible. And every day is a blessing. And I do truly believe that we should try to look at every day like it's Christmas. We should treat it as a gift of which it is. But of course... Sometimes when we're thinking that we need to get something done by a certain time, it can be such a pressure on us. And I do find that as I'm getting in, I was going to say later 20s now, but I'm 30, I turned 30, <laughs> turned 30 in 2023. But it really does now sort of sit with me quite comfortably that actually, do you know what, I've got so much that I want to do and I've got so many things that I want to achieve by a certain time in my life. I want to get married, I want to have a beautiful relationship, I want to have children, I want to have an amazing house, I want to get the career exactly where it is. But do you know what, I think the most comforting fact is that Yes, life is an absolute blessing and we need to treasure every single moment of it and hold those closest to us. And we need to embrace all of those wonderful times. Somebody's catching me. <laughs> but we also need to concentrate on the fact that actually we need to look after ourselves. And that while doing that, it's OK that actually if we don't meet those benchmarks, which often we set far too high for ourselves, And again, that can have a negative effect that can have a detrimental effect on your well-being, your mental health. And and just again, that can really exacerbate physical issues which you're going through. It can make you feel really down. It can make you feel just almost counterintuitive of where you're actually trying to be. So even though it's a new year, don't be too hard on yourself, my friend, because it is a year. And even though a lot of us may think that it flies by, it's plenty of time. So relax. I would always say to somebody if they're starting to, for example, if they've set themselves a New Year's resolution, you do not need to do that. OK, a lot of people will think, well, I've set myself a new resolution for this year. I'm going to be a completely different person. I'm going to be a new person. Let me tell you something. It does not need to be a new year for you to make a change in your life. It does not need to be a new year to reinvent yourself, to start afresh. Remember, let's leave everything what happened in 2023 where it was. Hopefully we can look back on it with grace and with confidence that it was a good year for us. But for a lot of people, there will be things, whether it be health, whether it be relationship, whether it be finances, whether it be something small to something huge, and it won't be so easy to leave. But build on that it's a new year. Yes, there's new possibilities coming up, but don't set yourself too high a target. Remember, you don't have to set the most completely, sometimes really out of reach, and some people do, New Year's resolution. You can set yourself three month targets. That's what I now do. Um, because in my early 20s, I remember setting myself these big goals and, and I wasn't quite there at the end and I'd feel really quite down and I'd feel really quite just, just far from where I wanted to be. And in the end, actually, when I looked at it at Christmas and the new year, the following year, I think to myself, do you know, what? that wasn't so bad. I made myself feel absolutely terrible, but I done really well. I was successful. So what I'm trying to say here is it is a new year, but don't be too hard on yourself and don't rush things because if there's a change in your life or you're trying to adapt to something, you're trying to improve something, you can. And if you don't get it right in January, then you've got hopefully all of the time in the world to be able to make a change. Look after yourself. Do it correct. So, for example, if you get to, I don't know, the second week into January and you think to yourself, do you know what? My New Year's resolution is completely gone out the window. That may well be, my friend, that actually you set that, but you set it 
too, you set the bar too high. So therefore, inevitably, if it's too high all the time, you're never going to quite reach it. So be kind to yourself and be kind to your mind, because this is a new year. So that means new possibilities, new opportunities. And remember, quoted from my favourite Christmas film, miracles happen every single day. And just remember, take care of yourself because your health is absolutely everything. And without it, as we all know, it's very difficult to achieve the great things you want to in this life. Remember, life is a journey. And it's amazing as it is to get to that final end goal, but remember to enjoy the journey along the way as well. A new year, of course, brings great opportunities. Hang on. Let's not waste those opportunities. And in fact, actually, if you're trying to get to where you're going and you think, no, I can't, I can't do this this evening with a family member, or I can't do this with a friend. Remember, it's the journey which sometimes is a little bit more important than actually that end goal. Now, I mentioned that a new year can be quite daunting, quite scary for me. And, you know, sometimes it absolutely is. And even now, this this Christmas, which we've just waved goodbye to, I had a few moments I thought to myself, oh, I've not completely finished my studying where I want to be, or oh, I've just turned 30, I'm not married, I've, I've not met, not met the woman of my dreams, I've not got children yet, but my brothers have. And I'm thinking, do you know what, hang on a minute, take a moment, I always pray, because uh, faith is a huge direction for me. Um... And I get a lot from that. And it really does give me a lot of direction, a lot of clarity in life. And then it just, it takes me to that zone where then I can almost feel that actually, do you know what? I've got this. He's got this for me. He's got that direction. He's got that path. My journey is written. I've just got to have faith. I'm going to get there. And do you know what? Actually, if you don't believe, if you're not of faith, then just have faith in yourself. Because remember, you are amazing. There is only one of you in this world. And this year is going to be an amazing year. We have to be positive. We have to be strong. And you know what? Sometimes if you're going through a rotten time right now, it's not how you fall down. It's how you get back up. And as I say, yes, we need to treasure every single day. And I'm an absolute advocate for that. I really, really am. Like if you've got anything to say to somebody, say it right now. Never ever hold off from saying it. If you want to tell somebody you love them, tell them. If you want to do something, you want to do something special for a family member, a friend, a parent perhaps, or your partner, then do it. Never put off from it. Because the thing is, we do live in a fallen world and I do try to spread positivity. And I, I've had some amazing comments all over the Christmas season. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. But the true reality of it is, is we live in a, a testing world, a fallen world, and there are people out there who will just make it their point to be nasty, vindictive, and take advantage of good-natured people. So we really do have to just take a step back, look after ourselves, love ourselves, love those around us, and just value every single moment of it, and actually think, do you know what, that even if something is not quite perfect. Do you know what? It's still magical. It's still yours. It's still you. It's still your journey. And if you want to do something in this life, you can do it. There's nothing to stop you. A lot of people think, well, actually there is. There's money. There's this. I can't do that. But let me tell you something. If you want to make a change, if you want to give somebody something, you don't have to have anything. You can give your time. You can give your patience. You can give your understanding. There's numerous charities, helplines out there to be able to help people, to be able to volunteer, to be able to make a change. And if you want to do a difference in your life, start small, then get bigger and bigger to it. Don't just think that, let's, let's be honest, as I say, Rome wasn't built in a day. Make 2024 your year to make a positive change in your life and those around you. And do you know what? If you just start looking at it, start exploring the change, start investigating how you're going to get into a, let's say, a different job or build your finances or perhaps taking a different journey in this life for this year. Just starting to explore it or starting to think about it is the biggest step of all. Because if you can get your mind engaged in, actually, I can do this and I'm able to do this, then you're well on your way, my friend. So with that said, yes, a new year is daunting, but it's going to be a great one for all of us. Let's be honest, you've only got to turn on the TV these days and you can just see what's going on in this world. It's not great. There is a lot of great things in this world. That's what we need to remember. So if you pass somebody in the street, say good morning, say hello, say good afternoon. If you see somebody and they're not quite right, ask a question. Even just, are you all right? They could just simply say back, yes, I'm fine. They could even be stern or anything with you, but you gone out of your way to add a little bit of goodness, a little bit of positivity in this world. And one of my things for this year, what I'm going to be, is I am a natural warrior, but I am going to walk past people, always spreading positivity, doing good-natured things. But one thing what I'm going to try not to do this year is worry about people's response to me. Because hopefully, if they're, if they're rude or whatever, or anything like that at all, then actually I wish them well, and I hope that they will find their way. I hope whatever they're going through is resolved, and 
then when I pass them again in the future, if I do, sometimes we don't, then hopefully they will feel in a better place to connect, to be able to join positivity, to be able to make this world just a little bit better. So on that note, God bless you. A very, very happy new year to you. And just in terms of the channel, this year there will be lots of great things coming. You may notice that you can seem a little bit more clearer. Forgive me. I've had a, I've got new equipment, new camera, new everything this year. Um, new lighting, not quite mastered it yet, so you may see me in a little bit of a different light, and we're going to be exploring some changes uh, for the channel for that this year. We will be reviewing uh, hair care products, we will be looking at, of course, thinning hair, we will be looking at boosting confidence, we'll be talking motivational chats, we will be looking at skincare, and we will be looking at a lot more, and I really do hope that this year you will join me for that. So it's going to be a great one, and I wish us all a very, very amazing, happy, and a great 2024. On that note, God bless. Thank you very much for being here and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.